you can do one more thing go to here and just search the shadow and cast a new shadow as mask save now it looks perfect so that's it bye bye hi guys i'm asif ali and watching this job video today we will make quickly this anime style uh, wind effect just the material in unreal engine so let's start this tutorial so let's start this so for this let's say i have a mesh like slender or maybe sphere and i'll do this effect in just material you can use that in uh, niagara and then use parameters to randomize things but i just want to show you the material so you have this sphere okay so let's make a material i'll call it m wind and make an instance and apply that here i'll put that on zero here okay now i'll open this first thing what i want is to mask out from the top to bottom so i'll take a texture coordinate and shift c for the mask and then green channel and i'll make this uh, translucent and you can use default lid if you want and two sided and also if you want to unlock these you can do that by using volume or forward shading okay so basically if i preview this is the gradient okay and to to animate it from top to bottom and also have a parameter to control the fadeness of it although you can subtract and it will just come down like if i make 0.5 it is will be half but we don't have control of this fadeness so instead of subtract i'll use smooth stab and i connect this here connect this in the msc just to visualize and let's make the parameters so this is minimum and this is maximum and i'll add the board together so maximum will always be higher and i'll also connect this in here just to visualize and i'll just save it so after saving it i'll go to my instance open my instance make this smaller and here you will see we have a gradient and then this max value is actually the fadeness that's why i created this i used the smooth step so i want this much of uh, thickness maybe this much this much i want half is where is under the ground so we don't have to care about that okay so we just want to use this and we can have more fadeness or sharpness depending on this value okay the next thing what i'll do i'll take a texture and my favorite texture this okay and if i preview this texture let's use the power here so there will be more contrast this is how it looks let it actually compile this is how it looks and i want to make it diagonal basically if i play, use it on planar i want it diagonal so for that we can use custom rotator okay and then i'll use the texture coordinate here and we want to rotate from the center so i'll put 0.5 for the center and then this is my rotation angle i'll make the parameter and i'll connect this here and let's now connect this to visualize and i'll just save so now it's saved and here if i'll show you on planar here let me make some space so we can basically rotate it like this okay and now we don't have any tiling parameter so let's also make that so keep in mind when you are doing this thing don't make the tiling parameter here make the tiling parameter after this so i'll multiply it and multiply and i'll take the append vector and i won't separate tiling so i'll call it tx tiling x and tx and one more parameter ty default value i'll set one and one and let's save it again one more time so now we can check here 
so to check the diagonal uh, rotation properly you have to stretch it on one axis like i make this like this and now you can see its rotation and around here it looks very cool on the sphere so this is what i wanted now i'll set this to maybe 10 and this one maybe 2 or 3 5 this looks fine to me and rotation also looks fine to me so i think 0 0.15 yeah it's fine 45 degree okay so then we will multiply these together this thing i don't want this power so i will multiply these together and again now to dissolve it properly i'll use the smooth step again and i'll just connect this here and let, let's connect it in the opacity okay and these smooth step parameters i'll just call them like max 2 and minimum 2 so this is different from these okay and then for the color let's use a simple color parameter again the color and just connect this here and this here and let's save it again so now it's cutting through and we have this minimum and maximum too so if i increase the maximum too you can see this thing and with the minimum it's dissolving how much we want and with this one we want how much we want the thickness so i'll use both and around this much i think this is fine now you can use it black and it look awesome but we are making stylized wind so i'll use that color and i think emissive is too much so i'll just multiply and i'll call it emissive so how much emissive i want i will decide later let's also make this down maybe eight and also let's add a panner here so i'll just add a panner and again i'll copy this thing paste this here and instead of tx i'll call it sx for speed x and sy speed y cool i'll just save it again and now we have parameter already rotating so first i'll just make these zero and let me check if i increasing this yeah this is going up i want like 0.5 but later and let me check this this is going this way yeah it's it's fine and 0.5 or whatever so it's going up and also like this looks cool you can also duplicate and scale your sphere put it in the center also you can put light if you want Maybe I'll make it two. And I'll decrease this maybe. Oh, I accidentally made this blue. This will be like this. You can use like this and this is just to make it fancy otherwise not required okay so i'll just decrease so this is how you can make it and you can make it really fast if you want cool i'll just delete the light and same thing you can use on planar so if i take the planar and i'll rotate it 90 degree on this let me show my toolbars 90 degree like this and and i'll apply the same material i need to actually rotate this way and we can increase the size like this cool you can control d i'm doing all things in like here but you can use the particle of course like this of course you can scale 
cool so this kind of wind i uh, i'm sure you have seen in anime so you can animate and fade these things over time and this looks really cool so i hope you liked it thanks for watching keep learning and bye bye